so hello hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, today we will see how we can uh, integrate a google translate api in our node application so for this uh, we need to create uh, we, we need to create an account on a google cloud so i i, I already have account on google cloud uh, if you don't have account then go on a google cloud and create uh, create account on a google cloud okay so the translation api is, is a free for a uh, free for a some limit like uh, the translation api is a uh, high like character per month is freely translation and then after uh, it will charge according to your uh, according to your usage so yeah so let's start so first we need to create a node application so we go on the documentation uh, next documentation and go on the terminal and here you can write a uh, like uh, new, new cloud translate and here you can choose the package manager so i'm using the npm and click the enter and our application are creating here okay so now create a project on the google cloud so like google cloud and then we'll go on a console and then uh, create uh, click on the new project here you can uh, view a project name translate and then click on the create so project are creating Yeah, so, so our project are created successfully. Then we need to go on uh, IEM for creating a user for uh, Google Cloud Access. And then uh, click on the create uh, ramp access. Here uh, we need to give a principal. I write my other email address for this. Then assign a role. I am assigning the owner role and then save. So my principal are creating creating, and then uh, we need to create a, 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 access, a access key and a access credential for uh, accessing the translation API. So we need to go on a. In, service account oh, sorry. service account and uh, here creating uh, create a service account then give an account name translate click on the create and continue uh, here choose the role owner and continue then okay so our service account account are created successfully now we need to create create a access key id and click on the account and go on a keys and here add a key and create a new key and uh, we type json key okay so our credential json are downloaded and our key are generated successfully okay now uh, we need to go on a API and services and uh, enable API and services and then uh, here choose the service cloud switch uh, sorry cloud translation API and then enable the API Okay, so our API has, uh, is enabled. Now, uh, here our project are successfully created. Then go in the project and open in the PS4. Okay, 
So first we need to uh, install a Google cl uh, Cloud Translate package. So npmi and Google Tra Cloud Translate package. So the installation has started. Now uh, we need to create a module. So go on a NextJS documentation and on the module and module and I give I create a module like Google Translate. Then we need to create a service. Okay. Translate. Okay. So a service uh, a module created successfully. Now what we have to do? Here we can uh, we can configure our uh, Google Translate uh, credential and API. So uh, here first we need to create a variable. Okay. And uh, here we need to uh, create a credential. So we downloaded uh, our credential JSON to open and copy this JSON and paste here. Okay. Now create a constructor and initialize the Google Translate client here. Restore translate new transport credential restore Google Play and project ID restore Google Play project okay so we successfully uh, initialize the Google Translate client. Now we need to create a function for translating the text. Okay. Translate the text. And here we can give a text and uh, language. Return our push string means translated text. Okay, try and catch a Tony Bradley PM stop section. Never write a message like uh, something went wrong while translating the text. Now, here we can write text then cost response equal to wait this dot translate dot translate function use the word translating the text and uh, they take a two in two parameter one is an input text and one for a language okay and then return a response. Okay, so our translating function are created. Now uh, we need to uh, use this function on the API. So here we can create a function uh, and then we need to uh, use this Google Translate service in the app model. Open to provider. Here we need to import. Okay. 
go on service and then here is my private good only we use the google translate service in our uh, app module ask me the text language okay. return British dot Google dot split text the text and language okay and uh, what is what the function return function is return uh, translated text okay so our uh, function are ready now we need to create a controller then we can add a translator text as the pair body the body to pass the text as a string and language as a string okay then return away this dot at service dot translate text and pair up as the parameter answer of body dot text and body dot language okay now our functions are all uh, now our endpoints are ready okay now here i can run the server okay, start here so our server are running successfully now go on a postman and uh, here we need to create a new endpoint and then we are okay sorry translate okay then we need to pass a two parameter in the body uh, first piece first for a text the text is a hello world and uh, second for a language so here we can pass a language as a short form like a, a language code uh, like a, as english so english have a code like en okay and then so uh, sorry we need to uh, convert the english text into the french so here we add a french code and then click on the so our texts are here our uh, hello in english are already tra translated in the french so i translated this word in the english again so click on uh, sorry paste here and choose the language like english so our french word are all translated in the in the english so now i translate in the gujarati so click on the video sorry uh, add a code and so our word uh, what i already translated okay so now th thanks for watching this video